It's time for Ask Beacon Now, which means we get to answer some questions that come in to you guys from time to time, give you a chance to give your knowledge to our viewers today. Looking Sounds forward great, to that. Yep. All right, here we go with our first question. It is from Debbie in Brentwood. I'm 62 and want to retire soon, but I'm nervous I don't have enough save to maintain my lifestyle. How do I know what my options are and how to avoid making myself go back to work, which is a big one? Yeah, I would say to Debbie, you need to be nervous. This is a huge decision. You only get to retire one time, at least for most people, and you want to do it right. There's really no do-overs. So being nervous is actually good because what it does is it motivates us to take action. And what Debbie has done is she has called in and she's reaching out to get more information, like, am I okay? I think everybody asks that question. Am I really okay? How much longer might I live? And how much money is it going to take? And what haven't I thought about? So there's a lot of puzzle pieces, we call it, that it takes to think of and subjects to build that retirement puzzle. Things like income, growth, protection, uh, legacy, taxes. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of different pieces. So good question. And the thing is to take time to plan and then when you are done, you're going to know whether you can confidently step out into that retirement. Chances are you're ready. Yeah, we all want to maintain our lifestyle, I imagine, in retirement. That's important. Okay, question number two from Rob in Hendersonville. I'm turning 72 soon and know I need to be thinking about required minimum distributions, but I don't know where to start. All right. Well, you know, Amy, Rob's got a great question because required minimum distribution is kind of a new stage in retirement for a lot of people because a lot of people will just defer their IRAs, their 401ks until they reach 72. And then the federal government says you've got to start taking money out. And so the assumption is you take an equal amount of money out of each IRA that you have. So, for example, if you have five IRA accounts and you have a total of $20,000, you just take $4,000 out of each account. That, that can work some years, but there are other years you may want to rebalance that, take more out of one account based on performance or other things. And then, so having really a withdrawal strategy that includes not only your RMD money, but your tax-free money, such as Roth and that type of thing is really important. And if you don't have a withdrawal strategy, it's, it's not going to be very efficient. So you really need to have a written withdrawal strategy, not just for income, but also for RMDs. Okay, great insight. Thanks so much. And here is another question from Marilyn in Franklin. We have eight grandchildren between the ages of three and 17 that we'd like to set up college funds for. How do we go about that? Well, how do we do that? Well, we talk to the expert, Pete, who has yeah. several grandchildren of his own. Seven. So she's ahead of me, yeah. Marilyn. So uh, this is something that at a certain age, you begin to think about grandchildren and how can I add value to their life? How can I contribute, invest to their future? And so college is one of the things. And so here at our firm, we do set up college funds for people. And it really doesn't take that much money. And because of the fact that for many of them, it's long term, it's going to be there for a while before they get college age, then, you know, the types of investments need to be picked based on that. So, again, there's not just college funds that can be used for college, though. You can use other types of accounts, even though you want it to be used for college. Sometimes it's better to do something different because if they don't go to college or don't need it, then it can be used for other purposes. So again, getting all the information up front, very, very important and a great thing to do. Yeah, it's a wonderful gift, no matter what way they use it. All right, thank you so much, John and Pete. Great insights as always. And if you have questions, go to askbeaconnow.com and we'll be right back.